Hi everyone. In the last video, we spoke about three methods to identify duplicate tracking in your website. In this video, I'll show you five methods to fix these duplicate tracking incidences, depending on the issue type. So let's get ahead and start with option number one. We'll be using the Facebook pixel as an example, but note that you can apply the same steps that I'll walk you through on any other pixel type like Google Analytics, Twitter or X, TikTok, any pixel that you have implemented on the website. So the first option is, or the first method is Google Tag Manager. So within our Google Tag Manager, in the last video, we noticed that our Facebook pixel was triggered for more than one time. And specifically for the cart event, we had a duplicate tracking issue with that. If you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend going and watching it before starting with this video. But let's start with using the GTM preview mode. So I'm gonna add in our, my website URL. And then I'm gonna go to any product page while having the preview mode active. If you're not sure what is the preview mode or if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager, I highly recommend taking my free Google Tag Manager course that you'll find in the description. But for now, let's add this product to the cart and going back to our GTM. So let's click on the add to cart data layer event. We can see that we have two Facebook tag expiring. Let's see this one. That is our main Facebook pixel add to cart trigger or tag for our event. So this means that this Facebook pixel is now firing for one time and this tag is being used for other Facebook pixels. So let's ignore that. And then on this other data layer event, which is the add to cart, we are seeing the same Facebook tag or pixel being triggered for the second time. So what we can do is going to Google Tag Manager and checking out our tag. So I, for demonstration purposes, I have prepared this duplicate tracking works, workspace where I have intentionally used the add to cart in this same Facebook pixel tag. So let's click on this one and then let's scroll down to the triggering section and we'll see that we actually have these two triggers set for the same tag. So we have add to cart and deal add to cart. So to solve this, is, this issue, what we can do is just getting rid of this one, hitting save. And then when we preview the changes again, we should be seeing only one court event for this tag. So let's go to our website and then let's open a, another product page or the same product page. And then let's do add to court. Preview mode is not working, so let me reopen it. That's this product to the shopping cart. And now let's go back to our preview mode. So now we have this data layer event and our tag is firing. And now let's check this one. We no longer see the duplicate add to cart event. So in this case, this will solve our duplicate tracking issue. The second thing that could be sending duplicate tracking to your pixel is additional Google Tag Manager container that you don't have access to or that you, you don't use often beside your main one. And it has some tags that fire the same pixel on your website. So to identify this, click on these three dots and then open developer tools. Within this search bar under the network panel, type gtm.js and refresh the page. So what will usually happen is that you will find only one value of your Google Tag Manager container over here, but I have multiple of values, but this is my main Google Tag Manager container and then was LK. And then there is another Google Tag Manager container that ends with CHM. This means that any tag, anything that is firing through this tag will work on my website. Any pixel that are added or any tags that are added through this Google Tag Manager container will fire on my website. So if you have access to it, you can basically go to that container. So for this case, I actually have access to this container and I can see that it has Facebook pixel tracking set up and it is sending data for this pixel ID. So what I can do is one of two things. So I can pause this tag. If it's a duplicate tracking of my existing tracking, I can pause these tags and publish the changes. So that's one thing. But what if you don't have access to this container? What you can do in this case is removing the Google Tag Manager container code 
from your website. So Google Tag Manager is basically working on your website because it's installed. So in order to remove it, you can go to your theme file. So let me open my website back end. I'm using Shopify and then go to online store. If you're using WordPress or anything else, or even if you're using a headless website, you can just ask your development team to make sure that there is no other Google Tag Manager code on your website. So for example, in my website in the theme.liquid, I can see that this snippet is added and this, this is what is making this Google Tag Manager working on my website. So what I can do to solve this issue is removing this code and then hitting save. This will stop the other Google Tag Manager container from firing on my website. The third option is that the pixel is hard coded to your website. So to identify this, you can just go to your website and then right click on any part of the screen and select the new page source option over here. Once you are directed to this page, just use Control F or Command F from your keyboard. This will open a search bar and then add in your pixel ID. So I'm looking for a pixel ID with this number. And as you can see, there is one result and it is already highlighted. We can see that this is code that fires our Facebook pixel uh, for the second time. So we need to remove this. So you can either tell your development team to remove this code or you can actually remove it yourself. So again, I'm using Shopify and within Shopify, if I know where the pixel code is, I can just go ahead and remove it. But if I don't know where is the code or if I want to make sure that there is no any instances of this code, I can just use a Chrome extension. I'm using this one. You can just add in like the pixel ID or the word Facebook or whatever that you use. And you can see that it found two matches. So let's select the theme.liquid. Here is the first match. So we can basically remove this one. Then let's save. So yeah, that should be it. I don't have any other instances of it. And removing this code will prevent this pixel from firing on my website. The fourth method is making sure that there is no native integrations that are being used and it is not using the same pixel that you're handling through Google Tag Manager or any other method to set up your pixel tracking. Shopify, WordPress, any e-commerce software should have some native integration. In Shopify, they are grouped under the cell channel settings, but in others like WordPress, it will be named an app. So within Shopify, go to the sales channel section and then select Facebook and Instagram if you have it. If you do not have it or if you have it, there are multiple apps that could be also sending the data to the same pixel ID. You can find them if you have them under the app section. But for me, I don't have any app that has a native integration option. So let's check this out. Let's go to our app and then let's cancel and then let's head to settings. As you can see, I have the Facebook pixel option active over here. And then I have this pixel where the data is being sent. But what we can do is basically remove this app or disable the tracking option. So you can also hit the change option over here, log into your Facebook account, and then just disable the tracking option to avoid duplicate tracking. The final method I have for you today is more specific to Shopify. So Shopify have something called customer events section or custom pixels. So if you go to Shopify and then within your Shopify settings, there is customer events section where you can basically create custom pixels to fire on the website instead of hard coding these into your website. So I have for this example, I have prepared this custom pixel where I have created a basic page view event and it is firing for our Facebook pixel, dummy Facebook pixel, which has this ID. We can identify if we have a custom pixel that is sending the data to our Facebook pixel by simply going to our website and then within the developer tools, open the network panel, type in the Facebook pixel ID or the pixel ID that you suspect that it is double firing. And then you will find the event or the hit over here. Within this section, go to the initiator tab over here, scroll down and at the bottom, at the last line, you will find custom pixel ID. So let's look for that ID. As you can see, we have web pixel and then 
9348732 this is a unique pixel id for each and every pixel that we have in the customer events section so let me copy this id and then go to my shopify customer events section and then right click at any part of the screen and hit inspect within the elements panel press ctrl f or command f and then paste the value of the custom pixel that you have copied and as you can see and instantly highlight the custom pixel that i have created and the one that is causing the duplicate tracking in this case you can simply delete this one or disable it and use your existing tracking that's it for today if you like this video i would really appreciate it if you can subscribe to the channel like and share the video as this motivates me to create more content i've been putting content on youtube and linkedin for so much time now and i would really appreciate it if i can get support on this video just by commenting anything that you like about my videos any questions anything that you'd like me to cover as this honestly motivates me to create more content and yeah stay tuned for a big surprise that will happen within the next few uh, weeks and uh, yeah i will i will not spoil it for you but yeah see you on the next one